Hey, and welcome to this video about setting up a custom domain in Bubble. If you've been wondering how to do this for your app, basically what we're gonna do here is we're gonna look at the settings that you need to do, and then depending on your domain registrar, I'm gonna show you basically a general overview of the things that you need to do within there. It's slightly different, the screens, the UI is different of like what you have to click around on, but it's exactly the same thing because all DNS, uh, domain name service providers, um, I believe that's what DNS stands for, uh, they all do the same setup. So navigate in your bubble dashboard to the settings area and then the domain and email tab. And so for the domain name, I've got over in my GoDaddy account, um, my domains. And so you'll just wanna navigate and find your way into uh, where your domain is. And again, regardless of the registrar, just um, head over there and start to find some settings. Those settings that you need to work with is right here. So you're gonna to wanna to look around for something that manages the DNS. And uh, yeah, domain name settings, domain name service. Um, and basically what you're gonna be concerned with, again, regardless of if you're using GoDaddy or anyone else, is your at records and your CNAME records. And so what you're gonna to wanna to do is delete out the old ones. So there's one and two, and then you're gonna to wanna to come over and grab the IP addresses for the new records. So now I'm gonna go in and add two uh, at records. Time, the TTL is timed to live. So I'm gonna specify these as a half hour uh, because I'm impatient. And take care of the next one here at, and then I've got to grab this other IP address. Okay, so it's 241. No, sorry, 240. I have 241, 240, great. Okay, so add that one. And then next up, let's handle the C names, www. Oh wait, nope. That is not, it's not a C name. It's a, it's another A record with the www. So it's just kind of instructing this. Um, it's instructing that the web browser, when someone comes to the domain, whether they type in www or whether they type in the, uh, I believe it's at, it's kind of like a free, free for all, or just like the most basic, not, uh, not free for all, but like the most basic, um, uh, like bare bones level of, of, uh, Oh, you know what? The time to live is actually that's 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 actually longer than the default. Well, so that if you're in GoDaddy, again, every every one of these is going to be uh, different depending on your domain registrar, or slightly different, and uh, we'll go default here as well. And then I am going to put this one at 600 seconds. With the time to live out of the way, we can now see if Bubble has detected those settings. And we can see that it did. So you're all set, simplehardthings.com, our test domain here is working and ready to go. So that means if I were to go to this domain, it's gonna load up the index page of this app. So boom, there you have it. We can see that uh, our domain is live and our bubble app is from the index page showing up there. So if you like this video, found it helpful, please like or subscribe, it means a lot, and I'll see you in another video.